At Tanya's school, her first day of wearing a bra also involved a box of tissues. Because, as it turns out, they were useful for the end of relationships and for the beginning. Hi, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Inside of two minutes, Tanya discovered bras not only got you attention, they got you favored. Can I buy you lunch? Can I do your homework? They got you gifts. Voila. You bought me a car? If you don't like it, I could get you another one, but I need a day. And they also got you questions. Tanya, that's a nice necklace. Where'd you get it? Oh, this boy gave it to me. Well, give it back. You're too young to be getting gifts from boys. Jeez, don't get carried away. It's just a plastic necklace. Next, it'll be a plastic bracelet then a plastic ring. I want this to stop at the neck. He said that till she turned 35. Hey, Drew, how's Doc? I didn't see him today. He closed the store. He's all depressed because his girlfriend left him. What? Well, you ask me, Doc just dodged a bullet. She was nothing but a gold digger anyway. What's a gold digger? It's a woman who's with an older man for his money. Isn't that an old digger? Just because Doc has a little money doesn't make her a gold digger. Besides, what's wrong with Doc having a younger woman? Is that what you're gonna say to me when I turn 60? You're just gonna leave me and run off with a 35-year-old cashier? She should be about 12 right about now. Why don't you run out and buy her a plastic necklace? Of the million things my father could have said at that moment, he chose the smartest one. Nothing. Did Doc say when he was gonna reopen? He said he might never reopen. I got rid of Stacy, my job, and Doc's will to live. Way to go, dummy. Tanya! Tanya, are you up there? Tanya! What are you doing? I was looking for you. Oh, it's time for you to go to school. Okay.